Okay, so here's that thing that I created, uh, the big color. And if you go over here and if you just right click and duplicate that layer over to the other baked OCC, you'll get something that looks like this. And you can set this to many different features. Like if you, if you set it to normal uh, and you can change the opacity down a little bit, you can tint back your parts with it. That's a nice thing to do. You could set it on different levels. So right now I have this at a few levels down. So if I can go like this, and I could set it to a higher value, like linear dodge add, and you can see what that did is it kept all the detail of the model and then just added a little bit of extra brightness. But you gotta be very careful where you add this at because certain things will pop. Like this, for example. This is now very popping out the this exposure ratio. So, you know, it all depends where you're gonna put this, but it is very handy in the fact that you can colorize your parts a little bit. Looks like mine hopped into something. There it is. So you got to mess around with the opacity. You got to mess around with the what you're going to add it as. But the the idea behind that map is to tint back your parts. Another thing you could do with it. So I'm going to make a duplicate of it. Notice by making a duplicate of it, it just it just added a little bit more to it. Also, you can go image adjustments exposure and use this as an exposure to brighten up your parts. Very good. So what we're going to do here is kind of play around with these layers a little bit and see what we can do to add, subtract out a little bit of color. But let's look at what this is looking like in Maya first. So I'm going to save this out. Then go back to Maya. And now I have a whole bunch of textures out here or materials that I don't want. And I, I can show you this little nifty trick. First off, um, what I'm going to do is make a new Lambert. And that Lambert's going to be called Gun. So i got to condense all these down to one texture that's clean. So Lambert 12 is now going to be Gun. And I can get that texture here. Middle mouse button, click and drag it down to gun at color. And then assign gun to the gun. Very cool. All right, now. Um, what I can do here is optimize the scene size. And what that'll do is get rid of any unwanted materials that I'm not using. So now I only have the globe and the Lambert. That's a really awesome trick because, yeah, you get a lot of stuff building up on you. A little bit of a seam right here. That's nothing we can't repair. In fact, it'll give me the option to show you how to do that. In um, UV Texture Editor, we can hunt down that seam. And you can see it's in this general area. So I can go images, display images. And you can see that for some odd reason, it didn't go clean to the edge. Well, that's no big deal. I can just grab the UVs in the area that are affected by that. And I can use the scooch tool.
Okay, B on the keyboard allows me to resize the brush. I can just scoot these UVs in just a little bit. There we go. And you can see that repaired that seam. So anytime you see a seam, it seems magically appear out of nowhere because of the the layer stuff that we've been doing in Photoshop. So it looks like this whole entire thing right here needs to be scooted. Again, I grab about three or four layers down in order to do this. Though that way it blends nice. like that and then check for any flaws in it so there's still some more right there So that's what your next mission is, is to look for any overlapping or uh, seams in your model. And this is a great way to fix your seams. Now there are some tricks. You can figure out how you can double click on this edge. Like if I double click on this edge right here, hold shift, double click on that one, hold shift, double click on this one. I get all these. And then I can go to UV by control right click to UV and then I can use the scooter tool the right way B on the keyboard click and drag to make the scooter tool a little bit smaller and then I can scooch these around and while I have those highlighted I'm also check my other shell And the other shell looked good. So it's only this one shell down here that kind of was affected by it. Alright. So repair those and meet me in the next video.